hi everyone so this is where we left off on the previous video now what we'll try to make here is uh, we'll make this thing look a little bit more uh, good and uh, we'll make it look like a stadium like a football stadium so what you can do is uh, because we can't create a 3d model right uh, so we'll be downloading the model from the internet so go to any browser of your choice then on the uh, go to this website cgtrader.com now here uh, in the search bar type football now search it and uh, go to this free section now here you can download all the models right so for us we'll be uh, going with this one so I'll download this model quickly so let's click on this now come here click on this free download and now we can uh, download all the files so for us we need the fbx file so i'll download this code.fbx file so let's download this i'll save the file so once it is download we'll open the file so this is my file right so uh, to import it into unity we can open unity now drag the file from this thing to your unity editor so so it is done so this is my uh, scene right i mean this is my file so to uh, you know put it in my scene i can just drag it and drop it in my scene like this or i can drop it here in the uh, hierarchy so it will come at the center so it is make sure the position is zero 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 so it is at the center right now uh, for me this file is not optimized so some of the objects are uh, you know making my system slow so I'll just make sure that this wire fence I'll just disable this one now it is much more smoother okay now we don't need this uh, plane that we added before right so I'll just delete this plane this ground plane done so this is my uh, ground now we can obviously you can change this one to a uh, football right so this is just a cube so we don't want a cube we want a football so again I'll go to the CG trader now this time again I'll search for football now uh, again go to free and let's download a free uh, football model click on this free download now uh, what I'll download is actually this FBX file so let's download the FBX file save it so after it is saved let's uh, open it up so this is my file I'll come into Unity and I'll drag and drop this. And make sure you rename your file. So, you know, football, and this is my stadium. So, I'll just rename everything. Now, let's uh, bring the football into the scene. So, I'll just drag and drop it here. So, it came here. Now, it doesn't look good because we need the texture, right? So, if I come here into the in this thing we have this texture file here so some of the file you have to figure it out actually they don't give it in a exact order like this so this is my texture file I just download this now I'll just extract this file so these are my textures so I'll just bring those two files into unity let's drop it here so this uh, these two this is my color right so now if I create a material for my football so let's say this is my football I'll just rename this material I'll reuse this thing this is my football material I'll change it to white color and I'll put this image into this albedo slot okay now I'll just drag this material onto my football so it looks like a football right doesn't look that good uh, because maybe like the smoothness it will be a little bit higher right because the football is a little bit reflective and also uh, the uh, one more texture we downloaded right there are two texture one is this base color and one is this blue type of texture this is called as a normal map so I'll show you what it happens when I so drag this normal map into this slot and see uh, just click this fix now button and now if you see it looks like actually a football right 
maybe you can reduce the smoothness a little bit and it looks like a football so this is how we get the football now we'll just uh, add that same uh, rotation animation script that we added in our previous uh, project right if you can't find it here uh, if you f if you see this is the script that we wrote so we'll just select the football and I'll drag and drop it here in this uh, football so this script is now added to the scene I mean that object right now if I hit play and you can see that the ball is going very fast so I'll change the speed to 0 0.01 let's hit play again so it is going to the right direction right and uh, if you see it goes like that now uh, I'll make sure that it rotates you know so that it uh, like it rotates following a pivot point I'll show you so first I'll change the code in, instead of doing position I want to do rotate so it should rotate and I'll show you how it looks like right now so I'll hit play and it is rotating very slowly I'll increase the speed maybe this much is good so point seven is good so this is the speed now I want it to rotate following a pivot point actually I don't want it to rotate uh, on its own axis so what I'll do is I'll create a object here so I'll create a empty object so empty object don't have anything just the transform okay now this will be my pivot point so I'll just rename it to be pivot point now I'll put the football inside the pivot point and I'll move it a little bit to the right direction like this okay now uh, I'll remove the script that I put on the uh, football so I'll remove it then on this pivot point I'll add that rotation script done now if I hit play so actually uh, the ball is rotating following this pivot point right now obviously it looks fake we need the ball to also roll on its own axis so I'll show you how to do that and before that I'll just show you how, what is this uh, parent like uh, if I put the football outside then if I hit play you'll see that nothing will happen because only the pivot point is rotating once I put the football inside the pivot point so the football keeps rotating because the pivot point is like a parent of the football if I remove it again nothing happens only the pivot point is rotating if I put the my entire uh, stadium inside the pivot point you can see that the st entire stadium is rotating with the pivot point right so that's how the pivot point actually works so it is like a child and uh, parent thing if I move the parent entire thing will move see if I move the parent entire thing is moving right but if I move the football uh, only the football will move see the uh, pivot point stays there so that is the pivot point and child I mean parent and child relationship here now uh, so this is working fine I just uh, one final touch I wanted to add is I should be able to rotate the ball so the ball is just going like this but I want the ball to rotate on its axis so it looks you know so that it is actually like rotating so to do that I'll again write a script on this football so I'll just add a script I'll call it as football rotation create an ad now let's open it up so this is the script and you know I'll just copy uh, the same code from the previous function so this is the same now I want the ball to rotate on the x-axis if you see so the ball should rotate like this right so it is on the x-axis on the right hand side if you see the value it is on the x-axis so I'll just uh, change this from y-axis to x-axis and I'll put it 0 okay so I have the script on this football now I'll hit play and I'll see that the football is also rotating but on the other direction so I'll change the speed now I'll make it negative and I'll make it like this right so now the football looks like it is actually rotating and following the ground 
so this is how we uh, you know create uh, materials import 3d models in the scene and make it look good uh, also one more last thing that we can do is if you see the background there's only uh, blue sky and nothing else right if you wanted to change that so you can select the main camera and there are two ways to change that one is instead of you know rendering the sky we can say in the camera that don't render sky instead you render a uh, solid color so in the game view if you see we can only see the blue color right I'll, I'm moving the camera here in the scene view I'll move it and you know I'll point it like this so it looks uh, towards the camera so maybe I'll do it like I change it to global so I can move it like this hmm. so I'm looking down at the football like this okay now so this is the solid color uh, obviously you can't see anything because I put the camera a little bit down so if we if you see I can make it white or black and the entire thing changes right so let's make it white for now and also some other parameters in the camera are this projection right perspective and orthographic so orthographic you know uh, it makes everything of the same size actually so orthographic we will not be using right now if you see like everything looks kind of flat right you can't decide which one is in the fr forward and which one is in the back so that is your um, orthographic projection now i'll change it to perspective so this is my perspective projection now i'll just this is the field of view so if i inc reduce it it is zooming in right if i increase it it is zooming out that is the function of this field of view so i'll keep it around 90 degrees i want a wide angle shot here then uh, i'll you know move the camera a little bit forward like this okay so this is my view now let's see what you don't want a solid color on the background right you want the actual sky so i'll just change this to skybox then again you can come here or let's go to this website polyheaven.com go to this browse hdris and here you can download any kind of hdr that you want so maybe i'll go for this uh, sunny weather thing so i'll click on this thing and i'll download uh, this is a little bit larger in, in size so i'll download 4k you can change the resolution here so I'll download this save it it is downloaded so let's bring it up so i'll come here now again in unity i'll bring this image so hdri image are actually a special kind of image where it's a 360 image basically so just make sure that you select the image and in this uh, texture shape you make it cube on the inspector tab and click on this apply button so this should be now like now a sphere you can see you can see like the entire 360 view right now what you have to do is you have to create a material so for this sky so you can right click create a new material call it as sky box change the type of shader from standard shader to sky boxes and cube map now drag and drop your image that you downloaded into this thing so this is now your skybox now just drag and drop it into your scene so this becomes your new you know light source like that so if you see now if you look around you can see the environment right and also i'll just delete the directional light because we don't need the light anymore because we already have light in this uh, that sun so th we don't need any other lights so now if i hit play you can see that it actually looks like the ball is actually rolling and this is our final result.